Morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Rhythm Camp Day Number Something, like five or whatever. Um, today we'll be doing eighth notes. So we have uh, we've had quarter notes, we've had half notes, we've had dotted half notes, we've had whole notes, and now we're going to be going smaller and doing uh, eighth notes. Okay. So first off, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have four quarter notes, right? Just like normal. My terrible looking quarter notes here with a big one, big two, big three, and a big four, okay? So we would count this as one, two, three, four, okay? Just like normal, okay? I'm going to add eighth notes, just like that, okay? A little funky looking one over there on four. All right, so now uh, you might know how to count eighth notes, uh, you might say, oh, it's uh, it's one and two and three and four and, just like that. Okay, and we know this, or actually before we did that, right, whenever we were pulsing our voices, one, two, oh, there's a fly in my face, my goodness, one, two, three, four, we're just adding a note, right, on the up, when our foot is up, when we're pulsing our voice, okay? Um, if you guys also remember, the uh, a quarter note, right, is equal to your foot going down and up, right? We draw the line into that, okay, and usually that's like one, and then we kind of pulse through that, so now the up is where the eighth note is. Okay, hopefully that didn't confuse you. If it did, don't pay attention to it, just let's move on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's try to count this like two or three times together, okay? All right, ready? Sit up nice and tall. Down, up, down, up. Ready, set, and go. One, and two, and three, and four, and. My foot is going. One, and two, and three, and four, and. One more time, count it, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Really easy, okay? And if you need to go back and review and just kind of rewatch, that's okay. But let's move on. So now let's do some examples, okay? Our time, whoops, our time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Remember, we don't pay attention to the bottom number. The top number tells us four beats per measure, okay? So let's go ahead and try some examples. Go ahead and write in the numbers, okay? So at the very beginning, we always start with what? We always start with a number one. So let's go ahead and into the sound, because it's a note, so let's write a big one. Okay, here's another note, here's a big two. Okay, oh, look, here's our eighth notes, okay? And remember, this would be beat three, and we have that eighth note there, so this would be the and of three, okay? And this would be beat number four, okay? So if you said that inside your head, this would be one, two, three, and four. Okay, and we'll practice that here in a second. All right, the numbers for this uh, measure here. Big one, ooh, the eighth note's moved over. So I may ask you a question many times where I say, what beat are the eighth notes on, okay? This measure, what beat are the eighth notes on? Well, it's on beat three, okay? And this measure, what beat are the eighth note on, or the eighth notes on? It's beat number two, okay? So we have two and, and then big three, and then a big four for our quarter notes. Whoops, I'm about to fall over. Okay, so take a gander at that, take a look. The eighth notes move from beat three to beat two in this measure. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and count this together. All right, ready? Okay, down, up, down, up, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, one more time, ready, set, and ready, go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. And I almost messed up myself. Okay, my bad. All right, let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay, this is just some practice. Obviously, we'll review, you know, for a few days and, and all that stuff, okay? Or always review. All right, let's do this. Um, So we're going to have to add something there. We're going to have to add an and. 
now we have eighth notes on two and three. And then here we also have eighth notes on two and three as well. Okay, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and count it. All right. Okay, here we go. One, two, and ready, go. One, oh my god, the fly in my face. Ugh, gross. Two, and ready, go. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, let's do that again one more time. Let's take some numbers away, actually. I do not want you guys to count my numbers just by reading the notes. Okay, ready. Down, up, down, up. Ready, set, and go. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Awesome. Pretty easy. Let's do mix it up again. Where are our, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Where are our eighth notes? Okay, what beats are our eighth notes on? Okay, are they on one? Nope, it's just a quarter note. Are they on two? Yes, we have eighth notes on beat two. Okay, two and. What about beat three? Nope. What about beat four? Yes. So our eighth notes are on beat two and four, and this measure also beat two and beat four. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and count this one. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, ready? And one, two, ready, set, and go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, one more time and go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, awesome. Now I, I wanna switch it up, I wanna do it in, in reverse. Okay, so now let's put the eighth notes on beat three and beat one. Okay, so how would this look? Eighth notes on beat one and beat three. Okay. So now this is the opposite of this, right? We have eighth notes on beat one and beat three. Okay, but here it's still twos and fours. Okay, so again, if we were to write in your numbers, Right, I have to write a big one, have to write a big and, because it's still a sound, it's still a note, right? Okay, big two, okay? And now that's a quarter note, so we have to move on to beat three, right? Okay, beat three, here's the and, and we can kind of tell you, they're, just, they're connected, right? They're like one, okay? Uh, here's beat four, and then same thing as before, beat one, two, and, three, four, and, okay? Cool. Let's go ahead and try to count this. Okay, you guys are rhythm masters by now, so this should be pretty simple. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> and one and two and ready, go. One and two, three and four. One, two and three, four and. One more time, ready, set and go. One and two, three and four. One, two and three, four and. Okay. So at any point, please go back and kind of review, refresh, kind of rewatch. Um, but that is um, some eighth notes, okay? And tomorrow, probably, uh, what's today, Tuesday? So tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, we'll do some review. Um, and all that, okay? Eighth notes in your rhythm packets is chart number six. Okay, now if you came up to the school and got your rhythm charts, you only have charts one through five, okay? Um, so if you're able to print out chart number six, it looks just like this. Okay, very, very simple. Line one kind of introduces your eighth note, so it starts with your quarter notes and it goes with your eighth notes there, and you can see the beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, kind of does that. And then B, or, uh, line two is that, line three, and all that. Okay, I think your assignment today is to do the first measure of line one, two, three, and four, I believe. Okay, so if you have any questions, please ask, and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can. We're 
very, very busy here at school. Um, but um, please ask if you guys are confused or if something doesn't make sense or we just need clarification or something, okay? Awesome. Um, I think that's it. Go and have a happy Tuesday and I'll see you guys sometime this week, okay? Awesome. See ya.